Good morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. And I wanted to address the issue of wrinkles when you're using napkins to decoupage. So this video is just going to give you specific tips on how to avoid wrinkles when you're decoupaging. Now, some of you have given me such beautiful feedback and lovely comments, and I think you are probably aware that as I am making these videos, there's a time element. So I'm showing you how to do it, and in some of the videos, the napkins can look a bit wrinkled. However, I've gotten a few really snarky, rotten comments and people telling me I'm a talent or I'm a talentless hack who doesn't know how to decoupage. But for those of you that uh, sometimes see one of my videos and you say, wow, that is a little wrinkly, I, I do want you to know that the videos take about two days to do. And the name of the game with YouTube videos is you've got to keep them short and here I am chatting away. But what you want to do with the videos is get as much information out in as small an amount of time as possible. So for today I'm going to show you how you can decoupage on a curved surface. This is just going to be a flat surface that we'll decoupage on. We'll have the sides painted on this but for the most part just the flat surface. And then I'll show you a quick way to do it on a basket. So I apologize uh, to those of you who've subscribed, and sometimes you'll see a video and say, oh, I wish that wasn't so wrinkly. I'm actually rushing to get through the video, which is not good. And today, let's just focus on wrinkles or no wrinkles with the napkins. These clay pots are perfect to work on. This is a larger pot. I always separate the napkins. By separate, I mean they're always three ply. So I cut out the image before I separate it because when it's this thin one ply it's very hard to cut. While it's three ply you can cut it out, put your image aside. Now saran wrap is a secret weapon in all of this and I just take the dollar store saran wrap and what is a very very good way to do this is first do a dry run to make sure you know where you want to place your napkin. You might. So I took my image and turned it face down on the saran wrap. Because napkins are so delicate, I am just using an artist's brush. I'm just going to wet this a tiny bit, dip it in my decoupage glue, And then I'm going to apply it to the back of the image. The saran wrap is allowing me to lay the napkin down and pull it a little bit without tearing the napkin and the saran wrap is much tougher so it will not tear. I can then smooth out sections as I go. So I'm pulling, pulling, I don't see any wrinkles. And then the great thing about the saran wrap is that it doesn't stick to the work you just put down so that when you pull it away, it comes right up. Now 
you can see how this is time consuming and when I'm doing a video I'm really trying to show you how to do it and move on to the next step so as not to, to bore anyone or to have them say all right we get it we don't want wrinkles <laughs> so I right now am taking my time and showing you the correct way to do this and I still like to go from the middle out and that's why you want to have the right amount of glue on here also. If you have too much glue, it can bubble up, get clumpy, and then cause more wrinkles. Looks like I didn't get enough glue down in this one section. So the plastic, the saran wrap, rather pulls right off. It doesn't disturb any of your project. And you're left with... I'll show you the dry side. An image that has either very, very few wrinkles or no wrinkles. Now for a flat surface, we're going to do the same thing. So again, I'm going to place this down while it's dry just to see where I want to place it. So I place the brand new sheet of saran wrap down and I make sure it's pretty wrinkle free when I put it down. This is going to be placed face down. I'm dipping my brush into the water every so often just to thin out that decoupage glue. You don't want it too watery. But at the same time, if the glue is too clumpy and thick, that can also cause some wrinkles. So I dip it a little into the water and shake it off. Then I dip it into the decoupage glue. Then I apply it to the napkin. Take my surface. Lay it down. Now I'm being very gentle here. I'm, I'm pulling the saran wrap. I'm pulling it this way, but also downward a little bit. And I will just take a nail file. I'm going to wait till this dries. I'll take a nail file and go around the edge just to take off these other pieces that I don't want. So that is how you work on the flat surface again with the saran wrap. Now to move on to the basket, I took the napkin, I separated it, I eyeballed just about how much of this I needed. Uh, you don't ever want hard edges by the way on the end of the napkin and the easiest way to remove the hard edges that I've found is to just take a sponge brush, dip it in some water, and go right along the edge. I took a bristle brush like this one rather than a sponge brush because we've got to get into these areas here. Now I take that section of the napkin that I just tore. I'll carefully lay the napkin down. Now I am pulling a tiny, tiny bit at the top and the bottom.
taking a piece of saran wrap and pushing this into the areas where I just laid the glue. Here are our three projects dried and all I would say today is I just wanted to show you on three different surfaces how to apply without getting wrinkles. I've got several videos out there on how to do the specific projects from start to finish. Here's the little pansy one on a flat surface, dry. And then here's the original one on the planter. These are just great to practice on. You have a round surface. They're very inexpensive. You can fool around with the paint any way you want. So I hope I was able to help you guys today. Um, if you've got any requests or any questions, please feel free to uh, ask me. And I just know I love doing decoupage. And if you do and you like to upcycle, this is a great way to do it, and there's just so many beautiful napkins out there. So uh, thank you guys for subscribing. I hope I've been able to help you, and the, those of you that have been so supportive and kind, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, and I will see you guys next week with an instructional video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but if you've got any requests, let me know, and I'll see what I can come up with. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.